About 22 years after the last count, the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, has announced it will begin the National Business Sample Census. The last time such a census was conducted was in 1998. According to the Statistician General of the Federation, Yemikale, the exercise will start on October 12th and end on December 12th with the support of the World Bank. The objective of the census recommended to be taken every 10 years is to develop a national directory of commercial and business establishments with all their associated social and economic characteristics. Others are to comply and compile frames, develop instruments and concepts and establish standards and methodology for industrial and business surveys. We have joining us now in the studio, Michelle Agatise, legal practitioner and also policy analyst. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on Thank the program. Thank you very much for having me. All right. So it's 22 years after the last business or economic uh, census uh, was organized. So a lot of people would ask, why now? Well, um, we have to look at the structure or rather the point we are in Nigeria at the moment. Um, you would imagine that, you know, with the focus on ease of doing business, with the focus of bringing in investors, as well as with the current economic crunch, um, it's a case that um, we've been forced to do the things that we should have done, mm -hmm. right? So, um, yes, this is the best time to do it. Rather, the best time to have done it was yesterday, but the next best time to do it is now. Mm -hmm. And how optimistic are you, uh, you know, from the point of view of an economic analyst, that the MBS would be able to pull this off? I mean, several thousands and thousands of businesses have been established I mean, from 1998. How, how sure are you that the MBS can indeed pull this off? Well, I'm quietly confident or quietly optimistic about it. Um, you know, the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics is working hand in hand with the World Bank. Um, on this particular project. So working with the World Bank, I expect that um, we have to see that, should I say, technical expertise of the World Bank shining through. Um, another thing that we also have to look at is the fact that the NBS is a body that is made pursuant to the Statistics Act of 2007. So um, there are structures in place, there's funding in place. Um, so I would expect that they should do a fairly you know, good job. Um, that being said, right, moving forward, I don't expect to be seeing censuses of this you know, in 10 years time or the like. What I expect to see is that there should be some form of homogeneity between the NBS and you know, the Corporate Affairs Commission, um, the FIRS, LIRS, just so that you know, technologically we can see every year, you know, these are the new businesses that have registered. Of these new businesses, these are the ones that are active based on their returns that they're sending. And also in the informal sector, you know, we have in the markets, for example, you know, the market women's associations, the bricklayers association, associations and all of that. So if we can formalize those bodies and have some form of, you know, should I say, platform where they communicate with the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics or the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics takes an active approach, um, then I see that we would have more, should I say, society reflective statistics coming out rather than, you know, people going into the streets, finding out what businesses are there and the like. So business people have been discussing this issue yes. on Twitter and several other social media platforms. Okay. And they've been saying the MBS is doing this now so they can tax them. I don't know if you agree, but in your opinion, what's the benefit of this particular business centers for businesses? Well, for businesses, um, at the end of the day, right, um, information and data is critical. Um, when you look at investing into a country as well as when a government is setting out policy. So information and data in and of itself, of course, does not have any direct impact. It's what you do with that information. It's what you do with that data. So um, if we have, I don't want to use the qualifier of if, but when we have um, the right government, in place um, who are thinking um, progressively, um, then of course they should use that data for um, policies that you know help business people. Whether they do or not is another question, uh, but that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is that um, when investors, foreign investors are looking at a country. They're looking at how active is the business sphere in that country? How many businesses participate in this? Will there be a market for my you know, con um, goods and services. And um, if you have that kind of data easily available, um, that helps such investors to make, you know, more um, scientific decisions. And when that data is not available, of course, it also affects the decisions that are made. So at the end of the day, it's all about data, right? And it's what that data is then used for, um, you know, whether in fact it's going to use for the policies that would help businesses, the expectation, but that remains to be seen.
Indeed, data is really important. Yeah. But what are the possible downsides of this census, if any? Well, for me, I don't see any um, major downsides if the census is conducted properly and in accordance to um, best standards. And I would expect that to be the case because they're working with the World Bank. But that being the case, um, if in fact it is done inefficiently, ineffectively, and does not capture um, the actual state of affairs on the ground, then of course it has downsides because um, government policymakers and business people would be making decisions based on inaccurate data. And I think it's very bad, or even worse than making you know, decisions on no data at all, than to be making decisions based on inaccurate data. So that's one downside, but that downside would be mitigated if the census is conducted properly and accurately. Mm. Thank you so much, uh, business analyst Michelle Agassi. No, thank you for having me, Annette. Fantastic. Cheers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.